Hey y'all, welcome back to Ellen L. Honeycomb Homestead. Today we are at Walmart pricing and looking for a deep freezer. Your girls, deep freezers are full, and that's a good thing. That's a good thing for you have to will purchase another one. If you're starting the garden, you can have so many groceries, you just can't even whew, I just can't even talk about it. But stay tuned. You ever been in Walmart and smell some food? <laughs> it do smell good, don't it? Be up in Walmart and be smelling good. Too early in the morning for all that. Too much. <laughs> Tell me. Hmm. So we're gonna turn you around so you can see what we just did. We in here. Hope I don't get copyrighted, y'all. I don't hear no music right now. Right now seniors that are in here, those senior citizens, and that's the only way we can get in here early in the morning, because they have a whole hour to themselves. And ain't nobody in here. They got everything good stocked and lined up in here. And I gotta get some stuff so I can continue on canning. And um, I know I'm gonna need some flour and stuff so I can continue on making my bread and things. And um, and bags of things. Yes. Yeah, stuff like that. And, um, yeah. And I'll tell you another secret, y'all. If y'all want to learn how to make different seasonings or have some kind of idea, look on the back of these and you'd be surprised if you got the same stuff in the house and you can make your own stuff up. Just a word of thought. Just a word of thought. Yeah. Pick you back up when I go find and look for some jars. I'm over here in electronics, y'all, because you know I'm gonna need a tripod because the little one I got is not doing no justice. And I want to make sure y'all have some good quality of things. And they got rollbacks going on right now. This will be great too. That's 24. And to see if I can find anything that's gonna fit the budgets around here. Y'all gotta help your girl out if you want me to have some good content. Now I told you my cash app is down there below if you wanna help out. If you wanna help out, I'm not begging, I'm not doing none of that. But sometimes things is worth patience and virtue, so I, sometimes I have to wait on things at the moment. But um, yeah. So I'm just looking and pricing things. So I know what I need to get so I can be able to hold my camera up. Because the struggle is real trying to do that. Okay, we need to get over here and look at some jars. Because I got to get some canning jars, y'all. Some canning jars. As y'all can see, I am in Dollar Store because Walmart's jars. Mm -mm. One left too expensive which means you can get any jar just don't use those lids when you need to can like i was telling y'all before so that's what i'm in here coming to get some jars i gotta get some jars so i can can and get y'all some good stuff so stay tuned So as y'all seen, I was at the dollar store. It was only one package of jars. So I'm at my favorite grocery and they had the same jars too for the same price. So I'm gonna go in here and see what they got. And then we can continue on doing what we do. <laughs> hey y'all, so it's been a long day, a long day day so i was able to get my jars from my favorite store and i will show you what type of jars you can also use when you are canning up your stuff and um so that was the today's vlog and uh get ready to go over to the other side <laughs> okay y'all so i had to get in here and change clothes because it was a little bit too warm but 
I was able to get a 12 pack and I got three of these cases of this 12 pack of the garden harvest jars. Now these jars can work perfectly fine. I just will have different lids and bands to go with these. Um, and if you heard of more jars, those are great bands and lids and they have good sales on those. And so I'm waiting for that order to come in. Okay, y'all, so this is what went on for the day. I'm glad you was able to get through this whole video with me and to go with us to Lowe's, to the grocery store, wherever else I went, <laughs> dollar store. <laughs> I was all over the place. But I was, I'm so glad that y'all was able to watch this video. So if you're out looking for affordable jars, don't go breaking the bank trying to get those ball jars. Yes, they are great jars, but they're just too expensive. Stay with your budget and everything will go perfectly fine. So here is the cute little deep freezer. I got a story to tell you behind that one. <laughs> so I was able to get all the stuff transferred over that was making this jam packed and this jam packed so it's pretty much evened itself out i still got more things to put in here and that makes it good i got more stuff to put in here now it's good and i got some more stuff to put in this one as well so i'm just so happy we was able to accomplish two things that's my jars and a deep freezer but i'm gonna tell you the story behind that deep freezer Y'all listen up. Okay, y'all. So, we was at Walmart looking for a deep freezer along with the jars, okay? And let me tell you, when we went down that aisle looking for that deep freezer, they made a mistake. Yes, they made a mistake. Okay. Not only was it roll back, but they had the red sticker on that deep freezer. It said $88. They even labeled it for that deep freezer to be $88. So we asked someone to take it up to the front to customer services so we can check it out. So we can get somebody to take it and load it up for us, right? Well, we have to find somebody who will have a truck because we don't have one, but that came later. So anyway, y'all, we got up there and the lady said, well, she gave us the regular price. And we was like, no. It said $88. She says, no, it's this price right here. And so Lorenzo said, okay, thank you. And so I was, so we walked off. I said, no, it said $88. I know what it said, and that's what it said. So I went to the manager, the store manager. I just happened to see him stocking up some diapers, and I gave him a scenario question. I asked him this, if you are putting these diapers up and the price is 20 some dollars for this big old package of diapers and you put a sign up and it says $12.50, what would the customer pay? $12.50? Okay then. I said, come with me. So we went over there to where the deep freezer was at and I said, do you see that price that says $88? He says, yes, ma'am. I said, what's it say? He says, this is a chest freezer. And I said, and what's it say? $88. And I said, okay. So I took ours up to the front, customer service, and they told me that it cost this X amount of dollars. He says, no, it says $88. And I said, exactly my point. So he got on his little microphone, his little mic or whatever it was, his little telephone, and called up there to customer service. And they were like, it says it was $100 and some dollars. And he says, no, it's $88. He says, y'all put the wrong sticker on it and it's rolled back. So it's $88. But it, he said, it's $88. So he got off the phone with her. And he says, y'all have a nice day. And we said, you do the same. We went back up there to customer service and got the warranty. 
in the deep freezer. Uh huh. All under a hundred dollars. All under a hundred dollars. So when y'all see something and it's got a label on it, and you just have to have your camera on your phone or you got your phone, take a picture of it. Take a picture of it. They have to sell you what it says on it. They have to. They can't change it. They can't do none of that. Whatever it says, that's what it is. So, we got a good deal. I got my freezer, freezer and I'm happy because that's more money that we did not have to spend out. Okay? Okay. <laughs> if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And y'all, you already know, subscribe and have yourself a wonderful and blessed day.